hi everyone and welcome to another video so today we have this poly gel extension kit from burano this is the glow in the dark kit i absolutely loved this kit and the glow on these poly gels is amazing as always i love the burano packaging and the burano contents that are inside i'm just going to go through a brief run through of everything that comes in the package When you open the package up here you see all these amazing goodies so you see some forms and you have dual forms and nail tips to where you can do like the apre dupe method and use that base coat gel to make the nail stick on and um, it's pretty much like press ones that'll just stay with gel and this is a little tray that you put like your alcohol in or your base gel and this is a three in one it's pretty cool um, it can be a base coat or the thing that connects the apre nails and um, a slip solution so it's awesome here's a top coat file and um, you can see the poly gels are buried down in there and there was also some glow in the dark um, sequins and they were super cool they were like stars moons I think there were hearts in there um, they were really really cute So I swatched the colors for you guys and here are the colors while they're in the lamp. So I'm going to pull them out. This is how they glow. I was in a fully dark room. The glow is amazing. Look at how gorgeous they are. So there are four colors and they are absolutely gorgeous and I will be turning the lights back on just so you can see how the normal colors are. This kit was amazing and the glow is spectacular. So these are the colors as you can tell. So um, yeah. They're gorgeous. You can just tell which ones they are. They're the pretty bright ones. And um, on the other side are also Burano poly gels. The whole ring is Burano poly gels, but the ones that glow in the dark are the ones that you can see in this picture right here. So that was amazing. I absolutely loved them. So for my slip solution, I use alcohol. So here I'm just applying the poly gel to my form. This is my preferred method. Of course, you can use the tips that they put in there or the dual forms. Um, I love that they include three different methods of application in there for you. So here I'm just doing the application on the forms, of course, as you see. So at first, I just lay a little base of the poly gel down there so I can have an idea of where I'm going to lay the poly gel. And then I go over again with more poly gel to create the apex and shape and all of that. So here is the random glitter mix that I had picked with my eyes closed. I switched my hand around in my bucket of glitters and this is the one that came out. So I decided to use this glitter and I'm just sprinkling it on top so I can get everything sealed in. And now we are going to encapsulate with the clear poly gel from Burano. As you can see the nail is really thin so when I encapsulate it it's not a thick nail and this clear does not come in with the kit but it is from another burano kit i love this clear poly gel so that's what i'm doing clear capping the nail
So here you can tell I made the nails kind of thin so I'm able to put more poly gel down and build an apex and all of that. So in this next clip you will see the nails that I did and these are the nails after I added some more poly gel to make the apex and the shape better. Just better structure overall because I do find poly gel nails a lot thinner so they do break more easily than acrylic. So I tend to put a higher apex on these so these are the nails. Again, like I said, I just added more poly gel to give it that apex that it needed and they were pretty structured, you know, pretty well. So I used the amazing Burano e-file that I showed you guys. It looks really, really nice and it works amazingly, especially that drill bit that they put in with it. I love it. Um, it's basically the same as the carbide bits I use all the time, but it's ceramic, so it's better for poly gel. So it would be just the perfect drill bit. So I'm using this to give my nails like that straight edge at the bottom. And this is what I do to create that crisp end. So here I'm taking my favorite cuticle bit, um, well it's not a cuticle bit but I use it to go around my cuticle area and this is what I use to seal the area just to make sure there's no lifting or anything. Now for these type of sets that I do, I do them so I can pop them off right after. So I don't usually prep my nails, so um, these will 
pop off you know if I wanted them to but if I prepped the nails correctly and all of that then they will be staying on after I seal this cuticle area up but if you are doing these nails to stay on your fingers then I highly recommend it sealing the cuticle so these are the nails after shaping and filing like I said I love love this drill this is my favorite portable drill um, well, I only have two portable drills. I love them both, but I really like this drill and it was amazing. So highly recommend it. Um, but this is the white glow poly gel and I took the poly gel and I sprayed some alcohol on it to make it less sticky and I molded them into tiny little balls. Um, so I actually used a silicone tool here and this is also from Burano. If you want to check out a video, I can link it down below. Um, where I had this Burano foil kit and um, in the foil kit it came with a silicone tool. The silicone tool you use it to press down the foil so it can stick to your nails. On the other side it's like more of a slanted tool so you can really get that foil to stick to your nails. But here I'm just trying to do a 3D flower. Keep in mind I've never done a 3D flower or a 3D flower in acrylic or poly gel. I don't do 3D art, never have. This is my first time trying it ever. Um, so bear with me. The flower wasn't perfect, but it was a good first try. So you can see in the flower, I kind of have this little bit of a blue tint. I put some blue poly gel on the tips of the flower. And here I am top coating. As you can see, there are like little specks in there. I'm assuming that's what makes it glow. Um, but they're not really noticeable. It's actually really cute to me. So here, um, I'm putting some glitter in between the petals and I added a Swarovski crystal in the middle. So this is a new cuticle oil I have from this place called J.A. Royale and it's cotton candy and it's really 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 nice so i really love the dropper on this bottle and um yeah i like this cuticle oil you can go check it out it's pretty pretty good and the packaging is gorgeous so here i am just rubbing this cuticle oil in as you can tell i'm sorry there's glitter all over my fingers So here are the nails after cuticle oil and top coat and they look absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors together. So I'm about to put these in the lamp so you can see them glow. Look at that glow. So I'm in a completely dark room and these are how the nails turned out. And they are so gorgeous. The glow nails are amazing and the colors that they glow, so cute. So these are how the nails look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye. Thank you.